Tonight, neighbors in Broad Ripple Village are asking the city to do more after the recent gun violence that we've seen in that area. Tonight, our Logan Gay shares the solutions they hope that city leaders will consider. Business owners in Broad Ripple say they're tired of the crime in the area and desperate for an intervention. We've been kicking and screaming for a year and a half and we just want to be heard. Chelsea Wetzel, the owner of Union Jack Pub, says the amount of crime is worse than it's ever been and has been escalating over the past year and a half. The recent shooting in a nearby parking lot that damaged homes and businesses was the tipping point. It's heartbreaking and it's frustrating that we feel like we've been talking to brick walls saying this is going to happen, this is going to happen and, and no one's doing anything about it and then here we are with massive property damage and thankfully no loss of life this time, but I fear it's only a matter of time. In a newsletter to neighbors, the Broad Ripple Village Association says the recent risk of life, property damage and injuries are unacceptable. Now they're asking the city to do more and find a solution before it gets worse. Nothing's going to change until there's a collective uprising saying we won't stand for this and that will take everyone coming together and making as much noise as we possibly can. The Village Association is encouraging neighbors to reach out to different city leaders and ask for additional support like monitoring daily weekly crime occurrence and trends, a parking lot security plan, and funding for additional proactive mitigation efforts. It's going to take a lot of teamwork and small things like barricades and more lighting, but then also accountability from Excise, from IMPD on some of these more problem bars. and the citizens in the streets. One neighbor living close to downtown Broward says she still feels safe in her community. She hopes any solution that comes from this are well rounded. If people are loitering, finding um, finding ways to, to um, intervene in ways that um, don't escalate situations, I think that is really important to so making sure that whoever is doing that intervention has that kind of training. So, Logan, what's next for the business owner in that story? Well, Scott, until movement is made, Wessel plans to continue doing what she's been doing and looking out for her customers and her employees and closing earlier than what she would like. All right, we'll continue to monitor what's happening there in Broad Ripple. Logan, thanks. Mm -hmm.